now welcome to London City Angler during this short series of videos we're going to show you everything you need to know to go fishing basically um, we're going to show you the rigs the knots the bait also the camera equipment that I use to film the stuff that I'm doing um, and what else do you need to know Okay then, so this is the knot that I was first ever taught. Um, it's probably the easiest knot I know how to tie. Daddy, I'm filming rig tutorials. Can I call you back in a bit? Right, bye, bye, bye. All right, so sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is the first knot that I was ever taught and it's probably the easiest fishing knot um, I know how to tie. There is there is a problem with this knot that basically if you do not bed it down properly it has a habit of slipping or tightening very quickly when you hook a big fish and that can cause the knot to snap but if you go through the process slowly make sure it's bedded down properly it's as good as any other knot I know. Okay so let me go okay so let me go through the process of tying it. So you in. Okay, that's out of focus. Technical problems. There we go. All right, so like anything, line through the eye hook. Uh, pinch it with your left hand. And basically all you need to do is wrap the tag end around the main body six or seven times. Once that is done, put the tag end through the loop you've created next to the eye. Pinch with the left hand and pull on the main body. Lubricate. And now pull slowly on the main body. You can see as it's tightening down, The loops are contracting to the eye of the hook. With thicker line, you will have to manipulate this with your fingers to get it to bed down properly. With a thinner line, obviously because there's less friction, uh, it will tighten down a lot easier. But today is 15 pound amnesia, sorry, 20 pound amnesia. So you've got to help it out. Okay, give it a little pull on the tag end if it's not bedding neatly enough. Use your thumb to push that knot down on itself. So there you go, you can see that now. Let's see if I can zoom in a bit more. No, it's pretty spare like that. Okay, you can see it from there that the knot there's no gaps between any of the loops. Like I was saying at the start, is that if you have that knot with gaps between the no um, loops and you catch a big fish, it will tighten really quickly and that can cause the knot to snap. There we go. Once it's completely bedded down, trim off the excess. So with this knot, you don't want to trim the excess too short, just because it it can have a little bit of a, a habit of of slipping or tightening up anymore. So you always want to give yourself a little bit of a tag, just in case. And there you go. That's the blood knot. Until next time, this has been London City Angler.